Welcome to the video tutorial on how to install and configure FileZilla server on a Windows computer. After this video you create your own file server and can upload and download from anywhere. Let's get started. On your Windows computer, install the FileZilla server version. During installation you are asked to set an administrative password. Write down your admin password to log in in the next step. I have completed installing FileZilla server on my Windows computer. Next I used the admin password and started configuring the FileZilla server. The following are the steps to configure FileZilla server. I create a new account to upload or download remotely. I created a new account with the username test1. Requires a login password when accessing the file server. Next I create a folder where to save data for the newly created account. On my Windows computer I create a folder called test1 to save data for the account with the username test1. You set up a virtual path corresponding to the real path on your Windows computer. I have read and write permissions for this directory. Next I enabled passive mode. This is the range of ports I use, they also appear in the next step of this video. So don't forget them. After completing the FileZilla server setup I allowed the ports to go through the Windows firewall. You allow the following ports to pass through the Windows firewall. Thus other computers can access the FileZilla server. On the Windows firewall you allow port 21 and the passive mode port range to pass through. You follow the steps above. So computers on my local network can access the FileZilla server. But computers outside the internet cannot access the file server so I forward the ports on the router. When forwarding ports on the router, make sure your Windows computer has a static IP address set up. Because when the Windows computer's IP address changes, the port forwarding setting on the router will be disabled. After setting up a static IP address on my Windows computer, I forwarded the port on the router. On the router I forward port 21, then forward the port range in passive mode. Thus, Computers outside the internet can access the FileZilla server. I use another Windows computer to access the file server. On this computer I install FileZilla client. This software is responsible for connecting to the FileZilla server and transferring files. I used the public app address and account created in the previous step to connect to the FileZilla server. Connection successful, next I drag and drop files to upload data. The only problem I need to solve is using a dynamic domain name service to replace the public app address. In this case I use a service called DynuDNS. You can use another service if you want. On the computer with FileZilla server installed, I install DynuDNS client. This software is responsible for updating the IP address for my dynamic domain name.
I have prepared a free dynamic domain name. You can turn off Oct version 6 to avoid errors with the Dynu DNS service. After completing the installation and configuration of the Dynu DNS service, I used the domain name to connect the FileZilla server. Above are the steps to install and configure FileZilla server. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck. If you use a static public IP address, skip the step of installing a dynamic domain name service.